Well, um, I'm absolutely delighted now to get into different industries, change topics, um, challenge totally different landscapes. The first landscape we're about to challenge now is the financial one. So um, I'm uh, very happy to, to invite here on, on stage Paolo, who is leading the um, internet banking of, uh, for Central Eastern Europe of Unicredit Bank. I just don't want to, to make a mistake with the, with the titles, Internet and Mobile Banking, C, Retail Banking, Unicredit. Paolo, welcome on stage. And Julian, thanks for joining. And Julian, head of alternative channels for distribution, retail banking division, Unicredit Bull Bank, Bulgaria. Thanks for joining us. The, the floor is yours. I'm, I'm going to be absolutely interested to hear how digital is transforming uh, the, 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 the banking industry and the finance. I was uh, also very fascinated with your branch of the future. Uh, it's been a great news for, for uh, a past couple of months ago. So I, I don't know what will be your presentation about, but I'm sure it's going to be uh, connected to the future. So please. Exactly, sure. Благодаря на Пламен. Нашата презентация ще бъде малко по-различна, както Пламен спомена, не само поради това, че частично ще говорим на български, но поради факта, че влизаме в една нова индустрия и ще покажем... Окей. Гериан, извинявай. Окей, so we'll continue in English. Yeah, please. <laughs> so, as Plamen said, uh, our presentation is a little bit different because uh, it is going to show how these new things that us are going on the, in the world is changing also industry which is considered might, might be wrong uh, as some conservative industry as banking. And uh, in this presentation, very briefly with Paolo, we, we are going to talk how the new things in the world are changing the customer behavior and the way we are offering financial services. Okay, I'm going to tell you some very simple things that are going around. Everybody of us are knowing them, but it is good to state here. On the first thing that we are seeing on the world is great volume of information. Today, the world is generating something like trillion gigabyte information, and it is expected up to uh, 200, uh, 2020 that information to be some cosmic figure like 40 zettabytes, and just to can imagine this, it is 60 times all the cents in the world. And uh, in this regard, successful organizations will be these organizations that can uh, uh, collect this information and analyze in the appropriate way. And in 1980, one, when one banker said that banking is all about data bytes uh, and data processing, probably at that time it sounded a little bit crazy, but now we see that it's the reality. Second thing, all of us know we are going totally on mobile. Everybody of us has a mobile. And we are so get used to this device that if we lack it for five minutes, we'll be uh, very frustrated. Uh, the mobile telephones and the smartphones, of course, are more than the, the inhabitants of the, close to the inhabitants of the world, more than the toothbrush, it's clear statistics. Of course, all of these devices that we bring with us are smarter than the devices and the computers we had in the past we can do a lot of more things with them, and in the meantime, they are even use easier to use. And it's not um, uh, something astonishing that even the children are using tablets and smartphones very, very uh, easily. That's why we, all of us, are using mobiles and smartphones and mobile devices for different purposes. And uh, it's very small portion of time that we are using a device just to call. Uh, we are using mobiles and 80% of the mobile devices we are using to going on some applications, going on the social networks, uh, social media, going on games or browsing in internet. The next thing that we are observing on the market is very fast adoption of the new technology. Here is a very interesting graph that is showing how the new things are adopted by the market historically. And if you pay attention, for example, for the radio, it took 38 years to reach 50 million um, customers, whereas the TV took 13 years and the internet took four years. Nowadays, we see some application that needs several days to reach 50 million customers. We see the same with our services. When we launched the mobile, the internet banking in 2000, 2001, 
it uh, took us eight years to go to 40,000 customer, whereas with the mobile banking, we uh, observed this process to be four times faster. Everybody is knowing about the boom in the e-commerce. Everybody of us is customer, and we see that purchasing online is even easier, and we start to prefer it. Uh, but not we on not only purchase online, but we mainly search information about the product online. 65% of the customers before taking decision to purchase first goes online to check and to investigate the product and services. And uh, the e-commerce is growing each year with uh, stable and very aggressive rates at 20%. It's not amazing that one of the biggest platforms, am Amazon, is making 100 uh, thousand USD per minute from sales. Everybody is connected. We consider the, the strength of the social network, three billion customers, everybody of us has uh, three billion users, everybody of us has averagely around 50 friends. So it is great potential and the social networks knows everything about us. They know what we like, uh, who are, are our friends, where we are. So it is not amazing that the business is starting utilizing them more and more. And nowadays we observe that the social networks are generating two times more business opportunities than the standard marketing. So the customer are changing. If 10 years ago they looked like on the first face picture, now they are look like that way. And this is some traditional place like Vaticana. Who is the contemporary customer? He is the, the one who is better informed, he is online, he is very adapted to the new technology, he wants the things and the service to be provided to him in easier, convenient way as he prefers. And we observe the same trends also in banking. These are the percentage of interactions and contacts of the customers uh, in the different channels. And we can see that three-fourths of the interactions with customers are outside of the branch. It doesn't mean that the customers stop going to the branch. It means that when we offer services in a better and more convenient way, we have much frequent contacts with the customer. All these trends are changing the way that we are offering financial services and our industry, and Paolo will tell you more in what way. Okay, so what are the the implications for, for the banking industry of all this, this changing with, with consumer. Well, basically, you may still think that banking is boring, but for us, it's like we're facing a big transformation. We're moving from a world where the interaction with our, our customers has mostly happening through a bank staff, to human beings, so could be the contact center, could be the branch. Uh, and, and now, and then, of, of course, we have mobile banking, internet banking, but these are meant only for, for transactions. And now we are shifting to a, a new world where everything is moving, is going digital. So branches are, are playing less a crucial role than they used to be in, in the past. And everything is moving on to the web and particularly on, on, on mobile. So we have to think about banking being something that will take increasingly place online, not only for making transactions, but also for buying products and managing the relation with, with the customer. This has huge implications. So it's a shift from a pool model where the customer has to come to the bank to a push model where the bank has to, to reach the customer anywhere, anytime. But this has, it's, like it's not only about technology, it's much more than this. It's about how you build up the experience. So this is where we start. So this is a traditional internet banking. This is what you need if you, what what you need if you want to store money and to make payments. But now there is much more than this. Our customers are expecting much more, and this is what they usually tell when we do tests. They really hate this. Well, we have now to shift to a, a different approach that is like becoming part of, of people's life. This is what Moven is doing, Brad King, the King's Bank in, in the U.S., Bank Simple, that was recently bought by BVA, BVVA. They are telling us something, that a different way of banking is possible. It's not, a way, it's not a, uh, something where you manage money, but it's something where you make, uh, I'm not sure if this is working, oh, you make informed decision about 
about uh, uh, your financial life. And this is what we try to do also here in, in Sofia, in Bulgaria, with the, uh, your financial uh, advisor portal. And I would give you like if you want Actually, to Actually, kind of this is a service, very innovative service that we presented in the last week. But here the concept is totally opposite. Here we don't sell any more accounts, consumer loans, credit cards. Here we identify the customer need and propose him solution to the customer directly online. Yeah. And, and we try to do the same with the mobile banks. This is where we started. And when we look at this, this application, we say, oh, come on, this is not what we want. It's, it's so outdated, it looks so crappy. And we, we started to think, what would be the, what we would like to achieve? Well, we, we say, okay, the idea was to, to develop an application that can provide access to the bank without the branch. And also developing additional services for people who are not intent, uh, planning to make any transaction or checking their account. So we developed a quite an extensive uh, free zone in the application. How we started this process, this journey? We started from social media. We asked people on social media here in Bulgaria what was, say, what was wrong or can, how can we say this? It is was a simple gamification. So we engage customers to, to, to play a game and to see the mobile banking application screen. And after that, to, to, to rearrange the screen according to their need. This was the first stage of the redesign process of the new application, which gave us very precious feedback for, for something like uh, three days, we had something around 5,000 participants that provided us with very nice feedback. Yeah, so then we started, we did an extent, extensive uh, work on wireframe in the application. These are some sketches with that we did on, on Taver. We, we did a lot of work. We come up with an idea, a concept. This was the f one of the first application that was mobile banking application that was entirely gesture based. So no need to go through menus. And this is wha what we refined this concept that is what we call the end plane. So something that can you can easily uh, navigate simply using gestures. And out of this, uh, we just like turn it into a, a nice video, a short presentation that you can also And here is the result, the final result. Application <laughs> that is uh, leveraging on the modern technology, but also the behavior of the customer. Very easily to, to navigate with simple gestures between the different menus. Of course, there's a lot of utilities and uh, nice things. You can see all the bank products and services that, are that you have in, in the bank. I'm not going in details, but the idea is to be very intuitive and to represent the information in comprehensive way, to forget all these complicated statements, etc., and papers that we had in the past, I mean the banking sector. So this was the, the first step, but of course the strategy is clear. The strategy is to be close to the customer where he needs uh, service, banking or other type of service, because if we watch, the customer is not interested in the financial service that's related. He is interested by the goods. When he goes to the auto dealer, he is interested to buy a car. He is not interested what is related behind. This is the strategy, and this is the future banking for us. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for joining us on stage. Welcome. I hope it, it was it wasn't pleasure. an issue for with English, but you're perfect anyway. So.